Welcome back. Uh, as promised, uh, D Street Chatter. Nimish, of course, is uh, getting, getting us the market intel in terms of what's going on right now. Nimish, afternoon. Hi, Vishal. You know, a bit of consolidation in today's market, but, uh, you know, it is some of the lead indicators are suggesting a bit of caution as well. So maybe rightly so, a bit of uh, sluggish market today. But again, you know, uh, the, the theme of this week was uh, the, the, the leadership was back in the large cap names, and rightly so. Reliance has hit a market cap of over 21 lakh crore. ICSA Bank this week hit a market cap of over uh, $100 billion. So clearly the leadership seems to be back in the large cap names. And you've seen some bit of uh, underperformance in the broader market stocks. So it looks like a bit of shift towards, uh, to, towards the large cap stocks. Uh, the flow seems to be positive again in today's market. That's been the trend for this week. And looks like the FI momentum in terms of buying is back and, and largely in the, in the large cap names. But PSS for a change has seen some bit of traction as well in today's market. The sector of the day is clearly uh, the, the tire stocks, big move on that, those names in largely in anticipation of, of price hike. So that's been the key reason why all the tire stocks are buzzing in trade. A word on telecom though, while uh, you know, Vodafone is down in today's market, so is Bharti. But from an institutional perspective, the feedback is uh, there is buying interest overall in the telecom sector. Bharti is largely down in anticipation of a large block. We've been saying this for the last couple of days that potentially could one large block can, can come. And even in Vodafone idea, the feedback is some large hedge funds have actually bought into today's, today's weakness. So uh, while the screen may say something, but from a flow perspective, there is buying back in the telecom names as well. Absolutely. Uh, what about individual names, uh, Nimesh, on your list? Well, Prashant, the first is, uh, you know, the, the theme which, which we've been talking every day, potentially large blocks. So I'll start with two large blocks which, are, which potentially can come. The first one is Havels. Uh, the stock has been a big outperformer in the last couple of months, almost at record highs. But now at these levels, the feedback is there could be a block from a large FI investor very soon. So Havels is for, uh, first stock to watch. And the second is PNB Housing. We've already seen two large blocks in the last 15, 20 days. Uh, but now the indication is it could be a very large block from a private equity investor. So that's something to track in PNB housing as well. The second stock is Tata Motors. Uh, after, after a bit of uh, consolidation, some bit of buying seems to be back in Tata Motors in today's market. So expect high delivery volumes and a bit of FI interest as well in Tata Motors. The third stock is Manapuram Finance. Uh, you know, we saw a big move in yesterday's trade. The volumes were on the high side. Uh, the stock has uh, actually outperformed in the last couple of weeks. But now some bit of selling pressure has emerged. Potentially some bit of profit booking as well in Manapuram at these levels. And the last is Patanjali Foods. You know, we keep talking about this uh, anticipated move from the, from the group uh, quite often. Now it, the indication is that it can come very soon. So a potential merger of the non-food businesses is likely in Patanjali. And hence, that stock has been buzzing off late. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. I think CDSL is going to consider a 